What's going on YouTube? It's Ben. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel again. I really, really appreciate all of you guys subscribing and watching my content on the daily. Um, I try to put out valuable concepts for all of you to learn from, so um, if they're helping you out, tell me in the comments. If they're not, ask me a question, something you want me to do a video on, and I will do a video on it. Um, I frequently respond to every single comment, and I will always respond and give you you know, a, a value video back if you have a relevant question. So if you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Um, I would much appreciate it. And if you like the content in the video, smash that like button, please. Um, that would help me out a ton. So. I'm getting the vibe that you guys really, really enjoy practical, you know, hands-on videos where we discuss actual staffing and recruiting techniques, things that you can actually do to make money, like where you, the rubber hits the road um, and you actually take care of business and, and do things in recruiting rather than just talking about broad, wide recruiting concepts. Am I right? Probably. So um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to discuss um, how to obtain um, and recruit candidates for your clients on autopilot, basically with zero effort on your part. So what you can do and the, the ways and methodologies that I use to recruit candidates uh, for my current clients pretty much on autopilot uh, using a few different tools and features. So um, I'm going to go through that. These are all things that you guys can utilize and implement today. Um, they're you know hands-on, simple, practical things um, that I do all the time and I'm going to show you them as well as my super dirty ass office which is incredibly nasty but um, it, there's just shit everywhere but anyways this is where I film everything guys this is my entire office so um, let's uh, let's actually jump into a screen share on my computer right here and I will uh, I'll get straight to it and I'll just show you exactly what I utilize um, and hopefully it'll be of some value to you so uh, let's go all right, guys, so we are inside my computer right now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you um, some direct practical methods that I utilize specifically to find my candidates um, pretty much on autopilot. Um, so when I get a job order, when I get a client, when I get a brand new client, um, what I do is I go through and I usually do one of two things. I either place an Indeed ad or I utilize Craigslist. Um, and so I'm in Indeed right now. Um, and so what you're seeing is basically us typing up a brand new job ad. So um, let's say that we just got uh, you know a new client that is uh, a dental office. Um, so we're going to type in something along the lines of, let's say... Um, dental, dental assistant reception. It's already there. Okay, cool. Um, say we're in Seattle, or no? Okay, this is the company. Um, so company is unique on Indeed. Um, company you can actually kind of uh, change around. So you can um, Seattle dental office. You can actually be super unique when you utilize company. Um, and an interesting little factoid that you should be aware of, a lot of companies that retain you for utilizing search services actually use Indeed themselves. And so when you're utilizing Indeed, it's actually to a huge benefit that you create some generic name as a company and so that you're not known as the, the identity sourcing for this as well. Um, and so let's just say this is in Seattle. So we're gonna continue, and then we're not gonna put the exact street address. So if this is a full time, let's just say that they're paying somewhere like 18 to 20 an hour, super simple. Usually if you want really, really expedient hires, you wanna say I want two to four hires, I want them in one, in one to three days, that's gonna be the fastest way to get them on board. Um, you know, most of these are included, so additional job details. Health insurance, parental leave, other types of insurance, maybe some flexible schedules, things like that. Whatever you would get from the client. And then, of course, you're going to want to write a job description. So, um, you know, we'll do a whole other video on job descriptions. But um, for now, basically, you know, we'll, we'll leave this blank, but we'll just put um, job description in here. But this is going to entail a whole bunch of detail, but I'm just trying to get to the point of, of how this, okay. Dental assistant job, continue. Okay, so 
Um, now, this is going to ask me if I want resumes. Well, of course I want resumes, um, and I want them received via email. I want them sent to my email directly, and I want resumes. So we continue. Now, here's where you get to qualify applicants, okay? So um, you can ask for anything you want. Um, so I want a minimum one year of dental uh, assistant, let's just say dental experience, okay, work authorization, work work authorization for the United States required, uh, location, I definitely want them in Seattle, um, are they available for midday shift, I want that to be required, um, and then do they have experience with um, administrative assistant, one year required, um, and then only notify me of candidates that say they meet all requirements required criteria above. So obviously, I'm definitely going to want to be notified of only people that meet this criteria. I don't want to filter through anybody else. So I'm going to hit continue. Um, now, this is really funny. Um, so uh, Indeed actually offers you, I shouldn't say funny, but Indeed offers you these assessments. Um, and you can actually have people uh, fill out these assessments like Excel, or you can do this phone screen with them where you can have them answer like, automated verbal questions and stuff. It, I wouldn't recommend it for anybody really. So just gonna hit continue. Um, and now it's gonna ask me to preview my job, uh, view the preview. This is what it'll look like um, to someone. This is how a job seeker will look, look at it. Seattle Dental Office, 18 to 20 an hour, full time, 18 to 20 an hour, blah, blah, blah. Here's the, the fake little job description that we wrote up. And then it's gonna say apply now. I'm gonna close the preview. If I hit confirm, this is gonna go live. Um, and let me just hit confirm. And then what happens is it gives us the option for a budget. Now, Indeed requires that you pay for ads now. Since uh, January of 2019, I believe, they began requiring that you pay. Normally, you could put these on here for free. But the minimum budget, I think, is like five bucks. Um, so you could actually put five bucks, and then you set an end date. So today is April 9th, this April 9th, Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna run this for like four days. So one, two, three, four, let's end it on the 12th. So basically I'm gonna do five bucks and it's gonna estimate that I'm gonna get seven applications. So I want a little bit more than that. I'm just gonna run it for 10 bucks a day. Eight applications, all right, whatever. I'll, I'll run it for five then, if it's only giving me one more. So I'll hit continue. Uh, if I actually continue, it'll actually start to put this live and it'll take it off my credit card. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to move on to my secondary methodology of creating a job ad, which is Craigslist. Okay, so uh, a lot of people think Craigslist is dead, um, but I've personally made probably over um, 80000 to $100,000 in revenue alone utilizing Craigslist job ads. Now, where I live, Craigslist job ads are $45 a piece. Um, and so the way they work are like this. You go in um, and you basically pick that you're choosing to post a job ad. Um, now, it'll give you different areas of your state, okay? So you need to understand exactly where people are gonna be viewing your ad. Um, and you need to understand that really, really, really well because you can't put something in Seattle if it's going to be in the east side, the, the totally different areas. So. If it's in Seattle, I'm gonna say it's in Seattle. Um, oh, this is for sale. Create a posting. Oh, jeez, what am I doing here? Um, oh yeah, okay, never mind. All right, Seattle, job offered. Okay, job offered. See, $45 per ad, okay? So it's actually per category. So you wanna pick one category. You don't wanna to go too crazy. Um, now, in, in the general labor space, it would, it would make sense for me to put general labor. Sometimes if I'm actually sourcing for like drivers, I would put transportation because that niche is down a little bit better. Um, but you could actually A-B test both of these and see which one works best. A lot of times I just go with general labor. You continue, you put something up here like warehouse, forklift, driver. Um, you want to put Seattle... Uh, put a zip code in here and then you know job description we're gonna go over job descriptions in a different video so I just want to show you exactly how this works so comp 
um, 18 to, yeah, there we go. Okay, here's a previous one, 18 to 22 an hour. And then I'm gonna put my email in here. Um, so people are gonna be able to respond directly to me. I always put by phone and by text because you know, why not? It doesn't matter. I'll, I'm not going to type my phone number in there. But um, what you would do is you'd hit continue. So let me just put some number in here. That's not my phone number, so don't call it. Um, it's going to confirm the location of where you just chose. And then you're going to need to add an image, which is super cool. So this is super big when you're creating a job ad. Um, you're going to want to create a job ad with an image that's going to catch some people's attention. So usually um, I'm going to use something like this, something similar to this. Pretty sweet. So it's a, it's a nice little like, you know, boom, we're hiring. Uh, it's going to give them some attention. And then I'm going to publish it. As soon as I publish it, Craig is going to send me an ad and it's going to bill me for this 45 and I'm going to have to put my credit card in and, and right away uh, bill that $45. Now, um, just to pop out for one second here, okay, I want to give an idea for you guys about um, job ads and what they, what they um, look like as an investment compared to the return. So a typical Craigslist ad might fetch me eight applicants that I can submit, okay? Now that one ad cost me $45. If I think about it in the grand scheme, I could place three of those ads for like $135. And if I hired, let's say on average, two guys off of that, and they each make me 3,000 bucks, that's $6,000. Now, eating into that cost of $6,000 was that $135 ad cost. So $135 divided by six times 100, that's 2.25% of my actual revenue. So 2% of my revenue was advertising. So I'm making basically a 98% return on my money. So do you see how incredible that is? Like, and I could scale this up to even 10% and still be making a 90% return on my money and it'd be ludicrous. So scared money doesn't make money. Like you have to understand that when you advertise and when you put up Craigslist ads or Indeed ads and you put a budget up here and things like that, and whether it's, you know, 10 bucks or 15 bucks and, you know, 20 bucks a day and you see how much the, the, the applicants go up, um, you, you got to understand that scared money doesn't make money. You have to put money in to get these people, re you know, recruited. Um, and at the end of the day, this is how your, your recruitment is going to go on autopilot because you're going to get these people coming to you. They will flood your inbox. All of their resumes will just come into your inbox over and over and over. And you'll ultimately be able to connect with them um, constantly. And, you know, for that, it's, it's pretty much priceless. So anyways, I know that's a little bit about job postings, guys. We could dive in deeper to that if you have any questions. But um, that's pretty much how I put a lot of my job postings on autopilot um, because I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to do any actual outreach for candidates and I can focus on outreach for clients, which is much more important because that needs a lot more of my time. Um, this, I can just open up a, an email, review a resume and say yay or nay. With a client, I need to do a white glove, you know, like hand-holding conversation and sign an agreement and all that. So anyways, I'll pop back out here, guys. All right, guys, I hope that was super straightforward, super simple. That is how I post my job ads. That's how I recruit candidates on demand, on autopilot, where I don't have to worry about a thing. I don't have to go outreach to all of them. I just have them come to me. Um, I use a lot of Indeed. I use a lot of Craigslist, and it works like a charm. Um, people think that those things are dead, especially Craigslist. It is not dead at all. 
Um, it's very useful and lucrative. Um, tons of people apply on Craigslist for the right position. So don't think that you can just post like a CPA role on Craigslist. It's probably not going to work out. But for general labor and a lot of transportation, um, production, maintenance, um, machinists, that kind of thing, it works every single time on Craigslist um, and definitely Indeed as well. So uh, both of those are two tools that I utilize practically every single day. Um, I put a ton of money into those. Like I said, scared money does not make money. You must invest in advertising to find your candidates. Otherwise, you're going to be scouring like job boards, and you're, you're going to pay. You're going to pay to find people either way you do it. So Indeed has a resume subscription finder. Um, it's like two hundred fifty dollars a month. I also have that. I use that as well um, when I'm in a bind and I really need to go search and find guys. Um, so you're going to have to pay no matter what you do. So understand that um, you know it's just it's just a practical you know portion of doing the business. Um, but these are the two tools that I use a lot, and I think that you guys have found value in that as well. If you have questions about how I post those ads or um, anything about Craigslist or Indeed, um, I'd be happy to field any of your questions in the comments down below. Let me know if this was a useful video or not um, and if I can add value in any other way. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys on Wednesday and take care.